Listen to them two strokes sing, huh? So I can say that. Well, 250s sing, I guess I should say, because uh, Tony was telling me he had to take his 300 jug off of his bike and put his 250 jug back on. So you notice him, 250, two strokes, killed the start there. We're at uh, round five of the OXCR season. We're at East Fork Motocross Park. And uh, as you guys know, we do a hair scrambles race here. They've chewed up the place. They got dirt moved all over the place from uh, different sections out here in the grass. They moved out a bunch of dirt and looks like they're moving it all over onto the track and some other stuff. So doing a bunch of work here. So you'll see we go through a lot of the a lot of these sections like this that they've chewed up quite a bit. Some of this stuff was a little bit rough to get through. I hit one hole at one point I thought about jarred my teeth out. Weather was good this day. It was uh, wasn't wasn't overly hot, and you can tell that the dust is actually not not too bad for East Fork. Sometimes East Fork dust can be just absolutely horrible, but it wasn't too bad. You can you can see that there's some moisture in the ground, which is really good. At times you had almost too much traction. There's a couple times throughout the course that I kind of got on that got on it a little bit and front tire comes up and almost pushes you off into the woods because you just end up with a little bit a little bit more traction than what you even wanted so we typically always run kind of these same sections through here because there's there's really just only so much woods here so you know, one time we'll run it one direction, one time we'll run it another. So this, of course, is that section down, I think, the railroad grade here. Pretty much always run this, and then along the back fence there, we generally always run. You can see that they've just graded dirt off of the whole place. Seems like enough dirt to build a mountain. takes a little bit of time to get your flow figured out through through this section right here. It's pretty tight and there's kind of holes and stuff through it. So later in the race, I hit that a whole lot smoother than I am here on the first lap. This kind of little section here was new, I thought, and, and then it got, it got shut down later on. I don't know if it just got chewed up really bad or what, but I think on my second lap, I think when I came through there, I think it was it was taped off. So I don't I don't know what the deal was. Thought it was kind of fun down through there. So feeling pretty good about my pace today. I did 10 laps, and I noticed that nobody did more than 11 laps. So I felt pretty good that. You know, Levi and some of the other guys didn't didn't lap me twice on this this type of track. Yeah, that drop right there was you probably could tell that that first drop was pretty nasty. The first time I went over it, I didn't realize that it could uh, it would kick your back in as, as bad as bad as, it, bad as it did. But there was like a, a lip on it, and it kind of kicked, and then it was a drop off, is what it was. So and when I went over it, it was a little sketchy the very first time. You had to you had to jump it later on. So I got a little overzealous, one at the laps, and went through that creek a little bit too fast, and got my hands all hands all wet, and I got water under my tear offs. So you know how that goes. I spent two laps looking through kind of blurry goggles and I didn't really want to tear all my tear offs because I thought I might need them so I just rode that way for a couple of laps and probably should have just tore them all off earlier because once I got them off I, I could tell that I was running a better pace. I like to be able to see it's a benefit kind of. This section here was a little bit slick back in here. You definitely had to kind of be on your toes. This stuff is all hard pack and it's all all really slick. You come 
back out into the sun. This section gets faster. Big old, big old hole here that they're doing something with dirt out of too, so maybe that'll be a mud bog someday. So we've ran these trails in the past before, this same section through here. Kind of flowy stuff through here was kind of fun. I mean, there's only so much. There's only so much woods here, so there's only so much that they can do. So when you come to East Fork, it's it's going to be pretty similar each time. You know? I mean, maybe someday they can build a enduro cross section or something. That'd be kind of cool. But only so much here to work with. But it's a fun race, I think. Hey, you're on a dirt bike, I mean, you know, it could be a jury duty or something. So this is really the only section that I would say really people were really struggling with. It's, it's pretty easy this time around, but I've got a bunch of footage here later after this first lap, and you'll see that everybody, well, not everybody, but a lot, a lot of guys are really struggling through this section. It's just really hard pack, and once everybody kind of starts pulling, pulling water and wet mud up that hill, it just kept getting worse and worse every uh, every lap. So I'm starting to catch up to some of the some of the previous rows, and, uh, trying to get away by here. as much as possible my first couple of laps. Um, I feel like that helps me later in the race when I have to back off a little bit, so I'm trying to push here to get by. I... Don't want anybody catching me. So Chris Ray eventually catches me. He, uh, I think he passed me on like maybe the, th maybe the third lap. It seemed like I, I heard a 125 go by, and I'm pretty sure that that was Chris. And I know he got he got first in our class, and I got second. And Tom Dodson got third, and I think I'm pretty sure Big Dave got fourth. So I'm kind of wanting a way by here getting slowed down just a little bit. Weather was good. I mean it was hot, but it wasn't it wasn't terribly hot. Back up through the pine trees, up and back like we normally do. So I'm getting a little, getting a little anxious at this point. So luckily, luckily got an easy pass there. You guys have passed me. You guys know that I don't, I don't hold anybody up. Quite frankly, I don't, I don't hold people up if they're in my class just kind of feel like that if you're faster than me at any point then I want to I want to get behind you and see why you're faster you know uh, so when guys come up on me and they're faster than me I let them I let them by right away and then I try to follow them so I can kind of just watch their lines that's, that's how you learn how to ride learn some learn some tricks so we're going to break out into the woods here and, and hop back onto the track here in a minute. I think there's a little loop to take up here. So there you go. That's how you do it. You lose no time. You didn't hurt the guy. 
you didn't hurt yourself. And then you just stick with the guy for a while and you just kind of kind of watch his lines as long as you can keep up with him. So we normally end up running this section of the track and uh, no different in this race. You can see again that some of the track actually has some, some moisture in it. So the dust isn't isn't too bad. Looks like we're catching up to several more guys in, in previous classes. This is still the first lap, so this must be guys out of like uh, uh, B classes and things like that. You can tell our row was just huge. Uh, that at the start there, I looked both directions, and our row just went forever. So I think there was uh, 100, 148 bikes total, I think. And I think like three quarter of them were in the master senior row. <laughs> so I was. I was glad to get a fairly good jump off the start. I, I got a horrible jump out of first gear, but once I shifted to second, I was able to uh, kind of pull ahead of everybody else and tuck in right behind Tony there. So this is just going to be footage from here on out. Um, you guys can let me know if if you like when I do this, but this is just all just footage of just people that I run across for the rest of the race. opportunity here, a little bit of a traffic jam, and I get an opportunity to sneak by a couple more people here. And I generally don't hoot because I went by, I hoot because I want people to know where I'm at. I've been ran off the track a few, a few different times because they think I'm on the right and I'm on the left. Got a weird kick that, that time. Going up that hill, but made a few passes there. Looks like Levi sneaking by. Levi's like the silent assassin. Like you don't know he's back there and then he just zips by you. Didn't bear, he barely even heard his bike run. But I've gotten to the point now where I, I can tell when he's behind me. And uh, I generally I generally can just sense that it's him. And so I, I scoot over a little bit and let him by. So there again, guy stopping at the bottom of this hill and uh, just kind of looking at the hill. I mean, the hill wasn't, wasn't really that bad, but I guess some people were struggling with it. starts videos. I don't know when I'll get them edited, but uh, I'll try and get them edited at some point. Get them posted. An easy pass there. Kind of looked like maybe he missed a gear, maybe, or possibly possibly stalled his bike or, or just let me by. I couldn't really tell. So that zipping by maybe was, was Trevor. I didn't really catch who it was, 
but i think i think trevor got second so that was probably trevor i have to look at the look at the sheet again i i don't i don't know that for sure i can't remember all right so you can tell it's getting it's getting worse in this section now you're not only going through the ruts but weaving weaving through carnage Chug up that two-stroke power, man. Idle up that baby. So I think at this point I catch up to four or five or six bikes and a little bit to get through everybody here. This section my mind just goes back to that team race that we did when it was like you know minus 17 degrees or whatever it was that day oh my gosh i just remember freezing that day trying to race Probably third place. I'll have to I'll have to look and, and see who that was. I'm not, I'm not sure who that was. Should have paid paid more attention. Zach has not been racing. He is trying to get trying to get a house done before September. So we have we have a bathroom uh, took down to studs literally reframed the bathroom uh, kitchen same way literally put literally gutted a kitchen down to even took the floor joists out of the entire kitchen and uh, so we got a lot of work to do so here's where I kind of weave up through everybody there and get a good run up through there but that's where Zach's been that's why he's not been up on the pro row he's uh, trying to get this house done before September have a lot of work to do. five rounds in and I missed one of the rounds so I've only got four races in I think I'm in I think I'm in second place in points 
So season's going pretty good. I need to get Chris Ray's number is what I need. He's uh, he had a, I think he had a few minutes on me, so he had a, a pretty good pace going. See sometime if I could just latch on to him and kind of kind of hang on to him for a while and try and see, see the pace that he's running. All right, so more carnage this time around. I couldn't even make it through that section that time. There's somebody laying over in there, so snuck around at that time, and then I think there was more carnage up here this time. Yep. So I took this right line, and I realized that Shooter probably should have been taking the right line the whole time. The right line was <laughs> was actually easier than the line that I had been taking. And there was a there was a rut in the right line, so you really couldn't fall over. So we're getting toward the end of the video here. I hope you liked all the extra clips. If you didn't, let me know. If you do, let me know. It's longer to edit it, but a lot of people like to see themselves ride, so I tried to get as much footage as I could of, of other people in this this race, so hope you guys enjoy it. Make a little pass on the outside here. You know, I I learned that from Eli. You know, he, he showed me how to do that. See you guys at the next round. Thank you.